All right, let me ask y'all. Let me to... ask y'all. Hold on, just okay. so we just so we keep some control up here, man. What's y'all thoughts? What's y'all thoughts on the uh the whole Flacco? Sh That's what we was talking about before y'all came on stage. Flacco or Goofy? Yeah, Flacco. Flacco or Goofy? Flacco or Clown? Let me. I'm gonna I'm hear y'all out. Y'all got no right talking about nobody. Yeah, I'm gonna hear y'all out. No, hold on, hold on. Just let me say my piece real quick. Let me just say my piece real quick. Look, 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 look. I don't like. I just don't like, like I had said before, pun. Let me just say my piece before, like I already said before. I just don't like how, I just don't like, even from my own city, I understand that the, okay, the dislike, you may not like this and that, all of that, blah, blah, blah. But I just don't like the super disrespect as far as how far you're going. Niggas' careers need to be over. Niggas need to die, blah, blah, blah. I don't like all that extra goofy ass shit. That shit don't need to go on. But niggas could definitely have their opinion about, okay, I don't like this. I don't like that. Niggas need to be better here. Niggas need to be better there. I'm muting up. Okay. Let me hear the rest of y'all. You know what I mean? Let me know what y'all think and why. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I feel like these niggas shouldn't have a voice because they're not real niggas. Like, they just talking shit they would never understand because they never lived the life. All right, now playing, now playing devil's advocate. Playing devil's oh. advocate. Let me, let me play devil's advocate on what you just said. So... In order to be a fan of the music, you can't like you know what I'm saying not relate to it, but just like the music. Like no, when you, you gotta the understand extras, it. It's the extras. I'm saying so. You got to be a street nigga in order to critique street music. Yeah, to a degree. If you want to enjoy it, just enjoy it. But don't speak on it because you don't understand. The no, of no, 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 no. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that pun. I'm going to say you I'm, could know, definitely have your critiques. No, you could definitely have your critiques. You could definitely have those. You could definitely have those. But that's just like if my homie rapping right next to me and I'm like, hey, motherfucker, your ass going to die behind that shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch ass nigga. Like, that's not me saying, hey, yo, homie, yeah, keep on, keep on continuing with your shit. That's my homie sitting next to me. So if you in a city fucking with people, you want to fuck with people, it's all love. And I'll and I'll fuck with that behind what came. So yeah, you feel me? If you if you around people, you fuck with them, I bet I'm not gonna go crazy on you. But I could definitely have my opinion on, okay, you need to be better here. This don't sound right. This da da da. But I'm definitely not coming with the if I'm around you, I'm in your city, I'm around, I'm not, I'm not from this shit. If I'm if I'm around, I'm not from this shit, I need to learn it. You feel me? So I need to understand it. So if I'm not from it, I'm around it, I bet. Let me hear your okay bet. I could definitely have my opinion on the I don't fuck with this and that this week. Okay, you need to be better here. Your fan engagement here and there. You could definitely have that opinion. That's definitely not what niggas saying. It's just the fact of what I feel from coming from my city as far as, oh, nigga, your shit, you feel me, you gone. Because I don't want to have the opinion on my own people from my city. I don't want to have the opinion on you going you gonna to die off later on from this shit. No, I want you to make your bread. But I want to have my opinion on just do this better. And that's what I think niggas is just looking at Flacco as. Just have a better opinion. You can have your opinion, just have a better one. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I get it when a nigga critique the music, right? I think where the issue comes in is when a nigga start, like, getting personal and talking about a nigga, like, his career finna die or he finna fall off. Once you leave the music and now you start talking about a nigga personal work ethic and he finna die, he finna fall off, and he'll be done in the next couple months, then it becomes personal where an artist is going to take it personal. You know what I'm saying? But if you're just critiquing the music, I feel like everybody can critique music you put it out there for the public, so the public they can critique your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get, you can't take everything somebody say personal. You know what I'm saying? But no, um, that's right. but once you like, once you take it to uh, uh beyond the music, and now you take it to a personal and saying, oh, this nigga ain't really what he rap about, or this nigga from the personal, or he finna get killed in the next. One. Now you going personal with a nigga. You feel me? So the yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, when I get if you're a person that matters to me, for one. When I do contact you or talk to you, yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get at you personally. Like, you know what I'm saying? Off music. But, again, like, I feel like, you know, if Flacco Word matters to y'all, to you, then, yeah, it's going to get under your skin. But if it don't, 
you ain't gonna give a fuck what he say. It's like if I say something, if you don't give a fuck what I say, oh, that's it ain't matter. You know what I'm saying? So that goes back to what I was saying. Like for people to say, oh, who is he? Who do you think he is? Obviously, you know, some people think he's somebody because it got niggas coming up out of character. You know what but I'm don't you think Flacco just does that for clickbait, like saying they're not really about that life and all that other shit? And then also, does his opinion matter to you, pun? I mean, everybody, everybody, oh, no. everybody is, everybody is subject to opinion. Everybody can have an opinion, bro. Like, does it matter to me? A lot of shit don't. Like, that niggas have to say, you know what I mean? But I listen. I'm entertained by certain shit. You know what I mean? Right. I, but I take it with a grain of salt. I don't look at it like. Oh, what he said is the truth. I just be like, I hear a nigga out. I watch it and I laugh at it. Or if it's funny, I'll be like, that nigga crazy. But I don't be like, oh, he's right, unless he's right, unless I agree. But you know, Flacco, thing, Flacco, Flacco, Flacco gonna say what he say. Flacco's a wild guy. Do you dog. think? Do you think he has a valid opinion on the West Coast music though? Hold on, like, Bob. Hey, 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 look, smooth, 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 smooth. Hey, bro, that ain't suave. No, my bad, my bad. My, my bad squad, my bad squad, my bad squad, my bad squad, my bad squad. Move real quick though. That's what I was just trying to say though. Like, I understand people uh takes and that you know they from this and they you know people from the West Coast and blah blah blah. But like that's what I was just trying to say. Like, do we uh yeah like people shouldn't hold those things as tight as they are like this person doesn't like yeah just because i think people are holding flacco to a different standard just because of the platform that he is on and that's well, in the, the part industry, that, you gotta hold everyone else to a different standard because they're not all street all those fucking multi-million dollar ceos ain't from the streets bro they just want to hear good music they don't really give a fuck what you've been through to be honest that's I mean, at, at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, the nigga word only matter to y'all because that's what y'all watching. No, I think he's entertaining. It's a million, he it's a, hell no, no, this listen word listen don't up. matter to me at all. I love y'all. Listen up. It's a, million, it's a million other goddamn podcasts out here. And out of those million, it's probably hundreds that are saying the same thing, but y'all not tripping on them. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all not watching them or listening to them. So it's like, you know what I mean? He is on a platform, same with the report card nigga. He is on a platform where when he does or say something, it's going to get out to the masses faster than it would if he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to spread wider. It's going to spread wider. And it depend on what your thoughts on what he say, it's going to make you react. You know what I mean? And that's that's what you're supposed to do with these uh, when you're on this platform. You know what you what you signed up for when you go sit down in front of that microphone on a platform that got 100,000, 200,000, 300,000? Your words gonna it's gonna rattle some feathers, man. When you when you give me your take on some shit and saying somebody's career about to fall off or their music ain't hitting the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. for sure. You know what I'm saying? And I think too. Um, I think too. Yo, you know what's crazy kind of part? Shit, but I mean, his opinion matters to a lot of people because they're tuning hey, in. You, I think he's yeah, really real, interesting for the hey, most part. Quick, so. I just want to ask all y'all. Obviously, other than pun, but like everybody from the H pit, how many people do you think Flacco reaches? Shit, without not looking me. at anything, without without I looking at anything. Hold on, hold on. That, just answer the question. Just answer the question. I don't need all the extra. I know how y'all feel about him, but how many people do you think he talks to? No, for sure, for sure, for Blanco's sure. Blanco's number right. one he, right now at what he's doing. He blows that full. No, yeah. right. he, he's rough. He's staying at roughly twenty five k to thirty k views. That means that's twenty five. Hold on, that's twenty five thirty k fans. Of whatever artist those viewers listen to. So he has some kind of that's what Punch is trying to get. Like he has some kind of no matter how you feel about him, he has some kind of and it's those people who are giving him the voice. Now if y'all go and give those views to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, the grind part and him earning that that, that scene. Because I promise you, a year ago he didn't have that. Everybody doubted him. Oh, he wasn't gonna get here. He wasn't gonna get here. Now he's here. I don't agree with everything Flacco says, but Pun's right. He's done a lot for his channel, and he's grown it, and he's gotten better every fucking month, year, week, whatever. So I mean, he has some kind of voice. Uh, uh, y'all niggas is crazy. Yo, you know what the problem I got with yeah, Flacco? I, I no, motherfucker's definitely right though. Yo, my problem with Flacco, right? He a double laser. He interviewing people and trying to get them locked up. <laughs> But again, come on, let's get to that. Listen, man, listen, listen. listen. It's, it's, the, it's the whole, it's the whole, 
DJ Vlad theory, where it's like, look, if you know that's the MO and you choose to sit down with that man, you know what the fuck you signed up for. No, no but you, you, the you, fat you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what you signed he, up for. So you can't but use yo, that. But you find you. You can be minding your business. Hey, man. Listen, bro. I definitely, I definitely fuck with the fat blob, though. I fuck with him. Shout out my no, boy not Flocko, necessarily. Man. You guys can't blame Flocko. You guys can't blame Flocko, especially if, Flocko. especially if you're really supposed to be in the streets because you're supposed to know right offhand what what questions to say yes and no to or next question. So you can't. Really, yeah, he is messy and a bunch of shit. But whoever falls for his tricks are just dumbasses, to be honest. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm one time, get your ass. And nobody listen. That's the same. That's the same thing. thing. That's the same thing those CNN anchors do and the Fox News anchors do, right? They just clickbait and say the wildest stuff so that they keep having people there. Yeah, no, but he's know. number one you right now. That, that shit, honestly, and his and his thing, he's blowing the report card full out of the water, all them fools. So he's doing his thing. He's messy fool, but he's doing his thing. Yeah, shout but out to Flacco, you know, man. But, but you know the thing about those newscasters? They're not one of us. Put some respect on us. You know what we're going through, bro. And, and that's, that's what you're doing. That's the same issue with Flacco. He'll never understand where we come from, our culture, what we need to talk about. So for him to be the, the main spokesperson for LA rap media, that's where he's going to have some pushback from. Same with the Dijon Paul nigga. Like, it's going to take maybe an ADT role or somebody else to have a respected opinion. A nigga from North Dakota that's born after. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Rewind. When, 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 when rewind. did he become the main spokesman? Where, yeah. Where, what are you talking about? What he's preaching. When he became the voice of the streets. No, no, he no, called no, himself that's... Jesus Christ of LA rap media. I mean, you know, that's clickbait shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's saying that yeah. to, to spark, to get y'all, you know what I mean, around them feathers. That's what, that's what Flacco do. But that don't mean it's true. Again. You know like, all I you like Flacco got a point, though. Like, I really do feel like Flacco got a point. Because yep. he a regular dude. He not saying he ain't feeling folks' lyrical content. I think it's more so about the production. Regular people, they feel the beat, the sound. You get what I'm saying? Not the lyrical hey, content. ain't you the That's Apollo? It. Aren't you the Apollo? Dude? Hell, no, nah, I ain't no Apollo, bro. I'm, I'm Apollo. Trying to get this I'm trying to get this narrative off. Let that cut swap, regular. man. Flacco a regular nigga, man. He just regular, casual, civilian. Ah, he care about is really the production. He don't give a fuck what them folk, well, what the West Coast really talking about. That's why I like his narrative because if y'all get more better, if y'all get better production, like more beats, like outside of y'all region, I feel like y'all will go, y'all will take back over because y'all lyrical yeah, content, y'all yeah. really saying yeah. shit. Yo, I got yeah. question. Do he harp Yo. on your city or does he harp on ours? And I get it, he based in no jumper, but he harps on LA music and because politics. Because he's been around it so much, though. Because he's been he been LA. Then he, he wish niggas be going to jail and stay in jail forever. Like, come on, bro, you can't agree with no shit like that. He harps yeah, he, on he, it, he, but he in, the same, in the same limelight, though, he br he's bringing that attraction. He's bringing attention to you. He's like, bringing attention to him. Yep. And it's appreciated. It. But it can and be like, done differently. Nah. But now the rappers, the rappers catching heed to it now because he getting more traction with it. So now they finna start switching it up or they just gonna bully him out the city. So which one oh. do y'all want? Do y'all okay, want so, what? So if Mark Nasty make, make music... He's doing that Skip make, Bayless effect. That Skip Bayless shit, it's man. Skip Bayless. It's, so that's what hey, he's doing. Nasty, so you gotta use it to your advantage. All the West Coast niggas, like I grew up on that West Coast shit and I'm from, I'm from the Midwest. But I say... Flacco doing that shit, y'all got to use it to y'all advantage. Like, that's all right, you got to I'm going to say this, bro. I'm going to say it again, man. You know what I mean? Disruption is needed sometimes. So, you know, people, yep. get, people get comfortable. You know, they get content. And then somebody has to want, come in. Somebody he, has to. Hold on. Let me cut. Let me cut. Somebody has yeah. to come in and, and shake shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, y'all niggas trash. Y'all niggas. Because if you don't say nothing to a nigga and he just keep putting out the same shit and ain't reacting, but he making those, you know, couple thousands and everybody praising, patting him on the back. He gonna think he doing something. Know what I'm saying? Okay, sure. But then when you come oh, with, yeah. when you come with, hey, nigga, y'all niggas ain't y'all ain't doing shit, and here's why, and here's the facts. Now that creates a whole new. It's gonna spark some shit, and it's gonna spark some shit in certain artists that's gonna make them work harder. Like, damn, that nigga right. I didn't even realize that because everybody been patting my fucking back for having a hundred thousand views on a video. 
Because he wasn't disrespectful to traffic, though. He told him, like, bro, that ain't tra- it. That's different. That's different. But, but that's yeah, like yeah. All that shit. 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 All that all that shit is needed, bro. I yeah, like. I, I hope. Go. I hope niggas take this shit and they create a fire, and, and spark a fire in all these niggas who who feel like they ain't up to par, who view whatever the fuck, and they get out here and prove a nigga wrong. That's that's what I hope happens. Instead of everybody feeling like, let me go beat up everybody around the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I rather nigga get in the studio, and let that motivate them, and a nigga start putting out instead of how he got on dub about having six songs in a year. Or whatever it was, like nigga, that motivate him to start dropping more music, more videos, whatever. You know what I mean? You gotta hey. take, you gotta take it. Hey, shout out to Bun for getting that. He did. Uh... <laughs> you said what? I don't want to hear you, Mark Bun. Nasty rapping like J Cole. I don't want to hear Mark Nasty rapping like J Cole or Kendrick. Everybody got their own lane. So just because the niggas say you don't rap about this, that, and the third, don't mean that's everybody. Some niggas make party music. Some niggas make shit for the bitches. Some niggas rap about black poverty and, and shit you feel me everybody different yeah. but that's why most people say they need an a r so people can find their lane like they can find what what really works for them yeah that's what, what we're missing because everybody but, just all over the place like like with flacco like if you ask him what's his top five like west coast artists he gonna name you all new niggas. He ain't gonna have no, no, oh, no, you know what I'm saying, niggas that really legendary True. niggas in this shit. He, ain't, he don't even know the jacket. So y'all arguing with people who really don't know shit about the West Coast music. So it's kind of like he doing this shit for views. It's, y'all gotta just take it with a grain of salt, man. Academics started all that. I mean, Ooh, you know, somebody uh, said some real shit. Who's that? Was that Public Care? Yeah. Rough. Again, again, though. He was kicked by the academics, and that's, that's where all of it came from. Yeah, yeah. nobody trying to stir the pot. He trying to stir the pot, man. That's what he do. Academics, man. Nobody that. cares about West Coast music. And he's like, yeah, nobody cares about. It. I mean, you know, he listen, that fool listen. Up. Academics kicked it off for sure, but I mean, of course, we gonna ride harder on Flacco because he's in our backyard. So niggas gonna be like, how? No, he had the our... most to say. No, I'm saying like, he had the most a nigga, to say, listen, too. listen. I don't give a fuck if Academics said the same exact thing. Niggas wouldn't be going as hard on him because they they ain't got access to him. They can't talk to him as easily. Yeah. Flacco in our backyard. So Flacco right here on community, we can have the homies pull up. We can boo boo. Niggas can pull up the no jump. Niggas can, like he's in our backyard. So it's like he gotta take it's gonna be a little harder on him this West Coast. Like Cuck can say that. He in Jersey. Academics in Jersey. He ain't gotta worry about nobody pulling up. He ain't gotta worry about nobody. He ain't gotta answer nobody calls, nobody discords, none of that shit. He good. You know what I mean? But Flacco gotta move around. So it's like I don't even think it should get to that point over his opinion, but where he no. start where he start dissing niggas personally or something like that, I get it. When you start threatening the, the longevity of a nigga career and saying like in a disrespectful manner, if it's coming like on yeah. some like real shit, like hey, I feel like if he don't do this, da da da, da his career gonna be over. But if it's like ah, oh, he's done, he's over, stick a fork in him, he's trash, boo boo boo, that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? An artist he, is gonna take he, that disrespect. Yo, yo, he was just doing that for clickbait though. You know that he was just doing that. Yo, you hear me? My eyes on. Yeah, I hear you, hear you, bro. I get where you coming from, right? But this is some shit that was built on the streets. So you get street shit that come with it, bro. I mean, yeah, you can't yeah, cry. Yeah. I mean that, that come with West Coast. That you can't come with, cry. That come with anything West Coast though. We we come when you that judge against you guys gotta remember though. <laughs> you judge against the news. That come with life, bro. We, that come with anything. We're not West talking Coast. about just West Coast. But that's no, the I'm point though. though. I'm saying though, like, like if you in a game I'm, with a bunch of gangsters. That's what I'm saying though. Like, you know, gangster culture was created over here, bro. So anything West Coast is nine times out of ten is gonna be some gangster shit coming with it. Cause half the people you're gonna talk about in music business is gang related. Nine times out of ten, you're talking about LA. No, I'm saying, like, when it comes to LA, I don't don't give I'm not talking about rap right now. I'm talking about LA. You know what I'm saying? The whole shit is West Coast Flacco. We ain't talking about the world in Flacco. So I'm saying, like, when you're critiquing LA, yeah, niggas, you know, do I do I think he should not be able to talk about it? No, I think he should be able to talk about it. Everybody got is subject to their own opinion, bro. You know what I'm saying? But are you willing to deal with the cars that come with it? I can't control what the next man feels about your words. I don't think you should stop like standing on what you stand on, nigga. If that's your job to talk about hip hop and media, continue to do so. But just know some niggas are sensitive, bro. Just because they're a gangster don't mean they ain't sensitive, bro. Some niggas are sensitive as fuck. So, so that he was, was, so that was his whole point, though. That was his whole Yo, point. He's the only guy that's a pussy. So he, when Primo came on the phone, everything changed. There's sensitive niggas everywhere, bro. It ain't just LA. 
Sensitive them niggas everywhere. Hey, y'all got text with the production. What y'all bringing up production? Like, yeah. To y'all, that's that's outside of California. When when y'all think like the production of West Coast change? To me, it's always been hard to me. Shit. Not because I'm no, born here. I mean, listen, man. I, it's always gonna be a production. Like y'all, y'all just a bigger. Like the South and the Midwest is just way bigger than the West Coast, bro. Y'all got way more people. You know what I'm saying? Like we here. Like when you think of West Coast, and I. I know people are going to get mad by this, but when you think of West Coast, typically people think of L.A., right? Yeah. Even though West yeah, Coast right. is Portland, Seattle, Utah, Vegas, Arizona, like West Coast, San Diego, all that is West Coast. But when you say West Coast, people usually just go straight to L.A. You know what I'm saying? Water but Bay. it's like, we got a lot of, you know Water what I'm Bay. saying? Or the Bay. But even, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, Y'all way bigger though. The South, Midwest, y'all niggas is huge, bro. Y'all got way more artists. Y'all got way more urban radios. Nigga, Atlanta alone got like three urban radio stations in, in Atlanta. But it took Memphis a long time to get where they at though. And, and, and nigga, it took for Memphis to create a wave so strong, it, it was undeniable. And that's what all LA needs to do. Again, we done did it multiple times. Create another wave. That's undeniable, bro. And we gonna be good. It ain't, it ain't like, it ain't rocket science, bro. It's like, Use that shit as motivation. If these niggas are saying, niggas, y'all fell off, do you stop working or do you work harder? Work harder. You know what I'm saying? Hard. Like, just use that shit as I motivation. Fuck. Niggas, I don't know. Hey, uh, the sensei, hey. but I don't never hear them down south, though. West Coast got a wave. It's a yeah, wave of niggas. Armor. It's a wave of niggas. It's just, you know, it's coming, man. It's so, coming. but. So See, fun, I'm an artist. Think, I'm an artist. You, you, you think it's the producers? Like, I need to get, like, a head boy or one of y'all producers, even you, like, to just do compilations? Or, like, what you think nah, it is? I mean, like, like it, bro, like, yeah. you got to understand, bro, it's a lot of y'all producers that live out here. Like, it's a lot of y'all producers that's in the studio with our artists out here. Like, it ain't the production. It's just, nigga, it's the, like, you got to make music that people care about, bro, at the end of the day. Nah, I, I, think, I think it's the marketing. I ain't going to lie. That, it that, is that that plays a part too. So, because like, it all like how like I went I went to Atlanta one time and nobody was playing LA music, but we play we play Atlanta music. We out here though, we play everybody else's music, but nobody play our music, and that's yeah, weird. That's me. something. That's something we always been up against though, bro. Like that ain't like no shit that just started two thousand twenty four. Like been, I we've been up against that forever. We've been up against that forever, bro. Like we got a different sound. We make our music at a different BPM. You know what I'm saying? Like West Coast, we we rhythmic, bro. We out here, we rhythmic. So all our shit be ninety eight. 100 BPM, 104 BPM. Our shit is fast. All our music be fast, club, turn shit. Like, you go to the South and them strip clubs, they're not playing no 104 BPM. Hey, that Joe Moses will go up in the South, though, in the strip club. Yeah, yeah, when I, when I with the Detroit to be on. But that's why I was asking about production. Like, you know what I'm saying? For production wise, like, uh, like, do it take somebody to come through and be like, hey, we should try this, try that? Or, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was asking I mean, about know. production, like, for producers. Hey, that, that bro, could, we no longer be. have a sound. We yeah. rapping over Detroit beats right now in Every, LA. Everybody shit is different, bro. Like, it's not like one answer for everybody. You know what I mean? Right. Some person, some people need. Uh, this artist may need better production. This artist may need better lyrics. This artist may need better hooks. Like everybody shit is different. It ain't like one thing is gonna solve everything. One one producer is gonna solve every problem. Like it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So right. at the end of the day, everybody just gotta you know strap their boots up, nigga, and work harder. And that's all too. All I know is community put me on to uh, Wally the Sensei and Siente, and they both bang hard. I've been yeah, it seems like hard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. That's so, like it's like RJ. No, that's the fact. RJ that's the fact. RJ go crazy. I'm fucking RJ. Yeah, that's, that's that's why I don't get like RJ. Yeah, they underrated. The man, sure. it's, a, it's, like, a it's a lot of talent. It's a lot of good talent in LA, bro. There's tons of good talent in LA. You know what I mean? Some people just ain't have the platform yet to and be Cali, heard. Period. Some people just right. ain't have the platform yet to be heard, bro. And some people they they want to come up right now. So y'all gonna get to hear them, and you know it's happening, bro. Like I ain't gonna never, I ain't gonna never let one man. I ain't gonna never let one man from like anywhere just say West Coast is dead and and his word is law. Like nigga, we ain't dead, nigga. It's L.A. Nigga, at the end of the day, like nigga, you know, like niggas just gotta keep working, bro. It's good. It's nah, artists, yeah, you got artists doing their thing. Just, Shit, TF, TF doing his thing. You know what I mean? Niggas ain't applauding bro enough. TF doing his thing. Oh my mama, you know shout saying? out to him. He wasn't even on the report card. What, what was up with that though? But see, that's one man's opinion, that's bro. Politics. It ain't, it ain't one politics. It's one man's opinion. He probably ain't listening to TF just because y'all are. Don't mean he is. Just niggas, certain artists you probably listen to that he ain't listening to. You know what I mean? That, you know how the shit go. Make your own report yeah. card then, cuz. Man, Make you think whatever. somebody you you think somebody who has a uh, uh, a sign with Rockefeller is worried about Dijon? 
Man, nope. you tell them now. Yeah, nah, because TM nope. get, get with major uh, love out, out on the East Coast. But it's the fans, though. The fans need that validation. Who get with love on the East Coast? TM. Who is that? You don't know TM? Hey, no. Apollo, nigga. Man, shout out TF yeah, on the Midwest. Shout out TF, man. Go look him up, man. Feeling the power out right now. No, I'm, I'm going to look him up. Oh, my mama, we feeling that shit. I'm from the East Coast. I just never heard of him. And that, and that's the beauty. Yeah. That's the beauty of having shit like this. You just create awareness for TF for somebody who didn't know him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, that's, hell that's no. Shout like, out to y'all because like. it wasn't, it wouldn't be up to y'all for me to hit to have TF. I'm fucking I started to fuck with right. him through y'all. Shout okay. Out yeah, but I'm saying like shout right. out, shout out to niggas being able to have platforms to provide awareness for certain artists that don't got outlets. You know Thank what I mean? You. So that's what's dope about the shit. But that's why I also said you gotta look at the beauty and the darkness of the report card. A lot of those people on there y'all probably never heard of until y'all saw that report card, and it may make somebody go look up Little Vader. Somebody gonna go look up one of the artists on the report card, see who Joe Moses is. You know what I mean? If they don't know who it is, you never know. I fuck with Joe. I fuck with Joe. You you see what I'm saying? He on the East Coast, and he said he fuck with Joe Moses. So, you know. Shout out to Van Ness. For sure, man. Shout out to Glasses, too, for sure. Shout out to I'm Glasses. Glasses. Shout out, my boy. Yeah, man, but yeah, nah, nigga. West Coast, West Coast ain't never dead, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep continuing doing our thing, nigga. I'm going crazy. Shout out to all the artists out here working hard, pounding the pavement, nigga, putting in that work. You know what I mean? For the lazy ones, cuz, I ain't got no words for y'all. But the ones that's uh, busting their ass in the studio going right crazy. Now. <laughs> he throwing shade at AD. Yeah, I, I throw shade. I show. I, no, no, I don't got a sugarcoat AD. I, I'm very direct with AD. Y'all know that. That's my dog. Hey, shout out! I got the juice. Yeah, shout out AD. But AD, AD, one of the motherfuckers, bro. When I put that battery in his back, and like he don't like to hear. That's what I'm saying. Look, a lot of artists don't like to hear they shit is trash or that they ain't working or that they they don't like to hear that. But a lot of them take it as motive and, and use it as motivation and to fuel them to get back in the studio. So that's the type of artist AD is. Like, if you get on him, he gonna, he gonna try to prove his point, nigga, and get back in the studio, and that's gonna fuel him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't gonna call you and be like, I'm gonna slap the shit out you, and that, he ain't, that ain't AD personality. You know what I'm saying? So every artist is different, though. Every artist is different. I definitely will let you know. Got some shit I wanna ask y'all, Plum, once we, uh, once y'all get through y'all shit, I got some real shit. I wanna ask y'all real quick. I wanna ask Plum something real quick. What up, brother? Do you think? Do you think uh, Dijon took that no jumper job just to magnify more LA rappers with the report card? Fuck no. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's yeah. a, it's at the end of the day, like it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to catapult what he was doing. Yeah. You know what he's you, he, like, he using the nigga like T. Rail told him to. Listen, bro. Listen, 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 listen. No, it's an opportunity. Niggas can say what they want. Look, look. We can say what we want. We can say what we want at the end of the day. Just cause, no. up, just cause it's up, it's up. Don't mean that it ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas be like, oh, fuck Blab. But I don't mean Blab still ain't a machine. It's still a machine over there. No. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to get awareness out there. So if you're a nigga that nobody knew about you and you get on that platform, it's going to be a lot of people that now know about you. You know what I'm saying? We show when, when nobody so, cared about the report card, but when he got on there, everybody started taking a heed to it. Yeah, I mean, as far as you know, yeah, as far as I know. I still don't pay attention to yeah, it. I was definitely you know with him when, uh, yeah. so what got, when uh, he all did the interview. Um, I stopped following him once he uh, went to No Jumper because I feel like he ain't uh, what he used to be. He's not as organic anymore. I feel like he's just doing the same stuff just to stay it, if that makes sense. I mean, yeah, that's your opinion, though, you know? To some people who just met him, they're going to be like, shit, who is this motherfucker? I see everybody talking about him. His shit must be true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, yep. it's it's all on who watching. It's all on the viewer. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's catapulting what he got going. You know what I mean? And that's what it's supposed to do. When you go sit here and work on these other platforms and get niggas, you know, the sauce or let them have, like, you know, you y'all know what the fuck. Like, I don't even want to spark all this shit because I could go deep on that. But it's like, we close that wound right now. You know what I'm Let's saying? Let's get messy, bun. Nah, we close yeah, that wound. Yeah, when open back up, I'll open back up. But right now... We uh, you know, shout out to him, man. Do his thing. Shit, that's what he's supposed hey, to do. Them, them grades is off though. Them grades is off though. Hey right, man, again, you. again, that's your opinion. That's his opinion. Everybody yeah. got their own. If we all make the report card with the same exact artist, everybody shit gonna be different, damn near. 
No, I think if him and Flacco did a collab, that would be pretty good for for both of them. Mm-hmm. I would tune into it, like on an interview or some shit like that. That's like not, if they hey, did a collab. All right, now you're going. That's not my department. You got to take that over <laughs> to, to no jumper side, bro. Nah, I don't fuck with them. I'm talking about that's them solo. That's not my department. Uh, I'm going to go dark. I'm going to go dark. No, no. I don't create that show. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's that. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, shout out to uh, Flacco. Shout out to uh, uh, Dijon Cub. Stirring up, both of them kicked up dust. So you know, job well done, right? They got everybody uh, talking about it. So you know, yep. 